Hey, welcome to She Prayer Journals. So this is Gina Duke, and I am going to share with you the end of 2017. I want to do a flip through for you of my structured prayer journal, and then I'm going to introduce you to my new one for 2017. So I'm using my book, Organizing Your Prayer Closet, A New and Life-Changing Way to Pray. This was the original that came out in 2013. It was also voted 2014's best book on prayer. Um, it is still selling like hot cakes, and, uh, which is awesome. So this is the re-release copy. It's revised and expanded. My publisher is Abingdon Press. And um, this was released in June. I think it was around June of 2016. And what makes it so cool is it has this enclosed structured prayer journal. And uh, 10 chapters. The 10 chapters correlate to the 10 compartments of the Structured Prayer Journal. And I have been decorating my books. So people ask me when they see this, they're like, they're confused. They're like, so is this book this book? And I'm like, yes, it is. I'm actually, just to clarify, I am using the original book. Uh, because, again, I started my year out before the new copy came out. But I will continue to use it because I, uh, I do like it, uh, the way that it lays out a little bit better than the most recent one. Um, in that it lays flatter when you open it. And because I like to decorate mine, that's why I like that. If you're not into decorating it, it doesn't matter. Just get get the newer copy with the with the new content in it. Okay. So, um, I have chapter flags, and I did kind of a junk journal theme this year. So, I've got my little chapter flags, and this is just scrapbook paper with some washi tape, and it's real cute. I called it the dance edition, as you can see. Let me scoot back just a little bit because I'm afraid it's a little bit too close. Well, it's about the best I can do. Maybe I need to pull this up a little bit. Um, but anyways, it's about... That's about the best I can do, I think. Okay, so I put in the little chapter flags, and then I'm just thought I would flip through. This was January, how I started out, and um, this, you know, the second week, and it has a little door here. Again, as we get closer, like this is so Valentine-y. We're still in January, but I was already feeling like Valentine's Day that that week. I tried to see um coloring pages and, and add a little extra part with that. I loved this one. These were so cute. I just love them. I get a lot of my stuff from Hobby Lobby, Michaels. For um, Oh, and look here. I did this. I came up with this idea and I just stuck little holes in these little things and there's my husband's initial on mine. <laughs> and so you can tell I'm, I'm a big fan of Valentine's Day. And so And then I did a little pocket there, little tuck place, little door here, which I didn't add anything here, but now this was kind of neat. It was kind of like an accordion. And it has some stickers and made some extra journaling pages. Here I have the little envelope. I got that of a pack of envelopes from Hobby Lobby. I think I need to get this back a little bit better. This is where my dear family, uh, it's, an, it's a cousin of mine uh, that passed away. This video here is not stuck his little thing in there from the funeral, but this was um, actually, you can see, St. Patrick's Day week. Um, this is where Easter is coming in. You can tell these are very Easter-y setups. These were like pillows. They were like pushy. I loved them. I loved them. I really like this. I, I just, the big and and dreams. I love that. And the washi tape had feathers. You know, you'll see some planner stuff in here. I did, a, I tried stamping. I made a little door. Tried some stamping there. More little, you know, extra places. That's my mom who's in hospice. I've been praying for her. This is some Lily Pulitzer stickers. So you can see this is scarlet lime. This is me using some um, Lowe's 
paint samples and I made another little tuck place. I made notes, I even wrote on that. Oh, look at that vellum paper. Loved it, loved it. These were ice cream, you can tell we're getting into summer. Little doors again, little extra places. More Tim Holtz. This, I'd messed this page up, and so I just covered it up with uh, this uh, translucent vellum paper. More like Project Life stuff. These were kind of cushiony, and then I used, I tucked in this little note thing where I, again, using paint samples. I really like that as well. More stamping. Things I'm praying about. I started seeing feathers everywhere I went. I just started putting them in my prayer journal. Again, more planner things. Sand. So we went to the beach that week. That was more scrapbook paper. Oh, and I've been dying to have a big flower that I could put in here and do some extra journaling on. And so I finally came across one in a Heidi Swap's scrapbooking packet. Football season started. I love football. Here you can see another pocket. Kind of went with the black and white theme. Maps. This was out of Heidi Swap's packet. Now you can see we're getting into fall. More little tuck places with little notes. Look here. Little planner. Little tuck place. Oh, go back in there. You can see just more notes. More notes and stuff in here. Look, this little envelope. Don't you love it? <laughs> I wrote on the back side of that. This is some little pieces that I have out of um, Corey Speaker's um, stuff. Again, I love this. I was, I just took a card and put this on it and stuck it in there. Extra, this one I didn't even have time to decorate y'all, but that's okay. Christmas, you can see scrapbook paper. Look at all that. Isn't that cute for Christmas? Made little extra journaling pages. And that was it, that was the last week. So that's how my little prayer journal link book came to be. Look how fat and thick that it is. So it was lots of fun. I loved it. I just loved it. And so let me give you the reveal. I have decorated my new book. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. And look, I added this to it. It's got maps. And then I put the matching blue ribbons. And then I'd gotten this, believe it or not, I had bought some wall decor for a wall gallery down in my living room. And this was hanging off. It's like a deer head thing that I put on my wall. And I, it looked so juvenile. And I took it off and uh, I thought, you know, use that in my prayer journal. And I look, look, it's just perfect. Just perfect. So cute. I'm feeling very regimented and tactical. You know, like an explorer is very calculated. So that's kind of my theme for this year. And so, anyway, so that's the introduction of my new prayer journal. Lots of good stuff going to go down here in 2017. So, Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to plan to pray and happy prayer journaling.